Panama Canal has been facilitating the transfer of goods between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans since 1914, when it was finally completed. The Panama Canal is a monument showcasing the human mind's intelligence by decreasing transit time and playing a key role in global trade and transportation for more than a century. However, as we advance into the 21st century, this marvel of engineering is swarmed by many uncertainties and challenges, making many believe that it is the end of the Panama Canal and the dominance it has over the global trade routes. Construction of the Panama Canal Let us go back in time to visit the origin of this engineering masterpiece and how it came into existence. The idea to create a canal across Panama can be traced back centuries ago with the attempts of many nations to execute this revolutionary project. It has been around since the colonial era when Spanish conquerors grasped the importance of such a passage. However, there was no success in this pioneering attempt till the late 19th century under the leadership of Ferdinand de Lesseps, who was a French diplomat and engineer, and later under the control of the United States, when it was finally accomplished. In the 1880s, Ferdinand de Lesseps, who is also known for his role in the construction of the Suez Canal, was the initiator behind the first significant attempt to build the Panama Canal. His ambitious plan had to go through multiple challenges, which included diseases like malaria and yellow fever, financial conditions, and a challenging landscape. Regardless of all the efforts, the project crumbled due to mismanagement and engineering issues. Right after the failure of the French attempt, the United States took over the construction of the canal. Under the direction of President Theodore Roosevelt in 1904, the United States set about to work on the most progressive infrastructure projects of that time. This project was not only a demonstration of American engineering mastery, but also a strategy to facilitate marine mobility and gave a push to the American influence in the West. The creation of this canal was a great endeavor that faced many engineering challenges. The route of the passageway passed through dense rainforests, swamps, and mountains, which required extensive digging and heavy machinery. To deal with the naturally occurring problems, the crew decided on innovative strategies like steam shovels, a system of locks that raised and lowered the ship to the different elevations of the 50-mile-long passageway. The most notable challenge was to control the threat of tropical diseases like malaria and yellow fever because it was affecting the workforce. It was under the direction of Chief Sanitary Officer Dr. William C. Gorgas that the situation was dealt with promptly. He introduced aggressive measures which included improvement of better sanitary practices and complete eradication of mosquito breeding grounds. As a result of these efforts, the workers' health and well-being were secured, which contributed to the successful completion of this project. Regardless of all these obstacles, the Panama Canal was formally opened up to coastal traffic on August 15, 1914, marking a historic moment for human achievements. The construction of the canal revolutionized the coastal trade and reshaped the economic landscape of the world, as it provided the container ships traveling between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans with an important shortcut for better water mobility of goods, operation, and expansion. For years, the Panama Canal has been under the control of the United States as it handled all its maintenance and operations in order for it to keep running smoothly and efficiently. But as time passed and global trade evolved, the ships and containers passing the canal grew larger. This highlighted the need to expand the canal to accommodate all vessels. In 2007, the Panama Canal embarked on the journey of a historic expansion project to provide accommodation for large ships. Also known as the Third Set of Locks Project, this project aimed to widen existing passageways and build new locks to accommodate new Panamax vessels, which were way bigger than the Panamax ships. This project involved the construction of locks on the Atlantic and Pacific sides of the canal. The new locks incorporated hydraulic systems and modern control technologies to provide efficiency and safety for the passage of greater ships. Apart from the incorporation of these locks,
the current channels were widened and deepened to accommodate the new Panamax vessels. In 2016, the Panama Canal expansion project was finished, which marked an exceptional achievement in the history of the canal and enhanced the capability of the canal to meet the current demands of world trade. Since then, it has attracted new mega-container vessels, liquefied natural gas carriers, and many other large ships that are looking for shorter transit times and want to take advantage of the lower costs offered by the Panama Canal. This resulted in an increase in the canal's capacity as now larger ships and containers could pass by. Once again, the passage was able to meet the increasing demands of world trade. Challenges and changes. Regardless of the historical importance of this passageway, it is now facing multiple challenges and threats as the era is changing. As there are other options now for trade routes like the Suez Canal or the Arctic Route which are gaining prominence, it is affecting the relevance of the Panama Canal. There are also other factors like the economic, geopolitical, technological and environmental that are now major threats to the future of the canal. The expansion of the Suez Canal in 2015 was a major blow to the Panama Canal as it could facilitate larger ships to bypass the passage, thus threatening its market share. If we focus on the geopolitical side, then political issues around the globe can also impact the flow of goods and the use of canal. As it is a checkpoint for global trade, it is also affected by geopolitical disruptions increased tension between major political powers or some regional conflicts can affect the canal's functions and raise security issues. Panama Canal's operations have raised environmental concerns, mainly the impact it has on the surrounding ecosystem. Since the canal's construction a century ago, its further expansion has led to deforestation, changes in water flow, loss of habitat, and affected the biota of the region. As a result of these rising concerns, the Panama Canal Authority ACP, has introduced measures to promote sustainability and reduce the impact on the environment. These include the development of eco-friendly navigation mechanisms, reforestation efforts and conservation of water. The advancement of technology is promoting crucial changes in the maritime industry as it is providing challenges and opportunities for the Panama Canal. All these technological innovations offer the opportunity to enhance efficiency, improve the transit time, and overall reduce the functioning costs for vessels moving through the canal. However, to stay updated with these technological updates, constant investment in workforce training, equipment, and infrastructure is required. The Panama Canal Authority should remain steadfast in adapting to new technologies while ensuring that canal operations are reliable, safe, and secure. The end of an era. As we step into an era that is at the peak of globalization and technological advancement, the Panama Canal is on the verge of the most crucial crossroads in its history. Logistics are no longer what existed at the time of the canal's creation. Digitalization in logistics and autonomous vessels are game changers as they are reshaping the conventional ways of global shipping and putting a question mark on the canal's prior dominance. Not only that, but with the development of substitute modes of transportation and a decrease in traditional trade routes, it seems like an end for the Panama Canal. Conclusion Even though the Panama Canal was a crucial part of global trade for more than a century, its future is now uncertain. As the requirements of the water trade are evolving, Panama Canal must adapt and evolve to meet these needs while also ensuring environmental responsibility and sustainability. To reduce these challenges, it requires collaboration among stakeholders and adaptive administration. Is the Panama Canal finally coming to its end or is it just another hiccup before it bounces back to its original glory? Only time can answer this question. No matter what happens, the legacy surrounding the Panama Canal will live through for many generations to come.